Hi there, I'm running 300 tests a week for eight weeks up from 200 milligrams TRT. I feel better than ever and sleeping better than ever. Life in all is much better. Is this too high to stay on for longer for safety? Okay. So we don't know, first of all, where were your levels at 200 milligrams a week in contrast to where are your levels now at 300 a week, okay? Now, if your level's at 200, okay, let me give you a perfect example. Let's assume you were like me. At 200 milligrams a week, I definitely felt better than I did prior to TRT, but something was off. And my, uh, I was just like kind of right, or like just below the top end of the range. My free testosterone was like, below the top end of the range. I was, I was feeling much better, so happy about that, but still symptomatic. I happen to be an outlier. I've needed as high as 300 milligrams a week to get my levels high enough to resolve symptoms for me. Now for you, if you're saying, well, that's crazy. I only need 100. What the hell is this freaking idiot talking about? I need 100. And if I got on 300, that would be like a cycle. Yeah, for you, it would be a cycle. Okay. For me, if I got on 100, I would want to jump off a bridge. Okay. The dose is completely irrelevant. Again, take 100 guys and say, I'm going to give each of you 150 milligrams a week. Some guys are going to have levels here. Some will have here. Some will have here. Some will have here. They're all going to have different levels. Okay. So the level that you have for you is completely and utterly irrelevant for anyone else. Okay. So never judge somebody based on their level or their dose or their protocol and saying, well, I only take that. You know, Greg, I, I said I love him to death, but he tells people I'm on injections every five days and I feel great. I have no reason. I don't understand why anyone else would need more than five, five uh, injections every five times a week um, or five days a week. If I take five injections every five days, I'm screwed. I won't sleep. I'll be lying there like this. If I had to take one big shot every five days, I'm a wreck. Okay. So when I'm giving you guys information, I may give you my personal experience to use as an example, but that was for me. And this may or may not apply to you, okay? So if that 200 milligrams a week you were taking got you feeling pretty good, and now you brought it up to 300, go check labs. If your free testosterone is now between, let's say 30 to 50 NGDL, well, that'll explain it. Maybe the 200 wasn't enough. Now, if you were feeling fantastic on 200, and now you've jacked it up to 300. And now your free testosterone, you know, it's, it's starting to get to the 80s or 90s NGDL. And you feel great. Okay, you feel great. Have we seen any demonstration of testosterone causing harm? No. Now, you got to keep in mind that we don't really have that much study in regards to higher levels maintained for a long period of time. We have a lot of anecdotal evidence. We have evidence of guys on TRT for decades taking crazy high doses and nothing's ever happened to them. You can't necessarily look at the bodybuilding world because in the bodybuilding world, they're incorporating a lot of synthetic androgens. They're taking a lot of different anabolic steroids in crazy amounts. You can't use that as, as, as a, as a uh, comparison to something you're doing. So if you're going to read a study about these bodybuilders that are on all these kinds of compounds and oh, and this and this and this happened to them, that's not relevant to guys like you and I are just on test, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. So if it was the case that you're now, your free testosterone levels and total testosterone levels are like, you know, your free is getting to like 70 or 80, um, you have to say, okay, now I'm really, really, really up there. I feel fantastic. My sleep is good. My libido is good. Everything about me feels good. My blood pressure is under control. Uh, I have no issues to speak of. Is that harmful? I'd say listen to your body. However, considering that we don't know for sure, I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend doing labs twice a year and check your blood values. Check your liver profile. Check your thyroid. Check your 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 um, all your blood values, check PSA, um, check as many things as possible to make sure that that higher level of testosterone isn't starting to throw something out of whack, okay? So if every time you're doing labs, like, look, everything looks beautiful, I don't really see the harm per personally. Now, if you're doing this higher level and suddenly your hematocrit's gone over you know, 60 and you're getting high blood pressure and you're breaking out an acne and you can't sleep, well, you know, it's too much, bring it down. Okay, 
So it's not really a, a, a simple answer. This is really going to depend on the individual. Um, you know, there's individuals out there that can take 300 milligrams a week and they're going to get their free testosterone to 150. You know what I mean? Is that healthy? You've gone, I mean, so far past what is considered TRT. I mean, you're not even, we're not even in the same universe anymore. Now, is it going to cause you harm? We don't know. Get labs done, check everything under the sun and monitor it. If you see stuff getting off, drop the dose down. If you see everything is fantastic, who am I going to tell you to drop your dose? Your blood levels are perfect. Your labs are perfect. You feel fantastic. You're sleeping. You're putting on, do that. You know, who am I to tell you what to do? 